gonna make uh, another pizza here. I'll, get, I'll just get it started, because this is, again, we're still learning about the dough. We took this dough earlier and we stretched and folded it to give it a little more substance. Look how much stronger it is this time. What I'm gonna do is first, of course, just sort of tap it out. I don't wanna flatten it. I don't wanna lose all that carbon dioxide that's sort of slowly building up, but we have to get it started. And then get it on the back of my hand and just use my thumbs to turn it. You wanna take over this piece and try to finish it? You can put some, sure. uh, use some. Okay. So keep some flour in the back of your hands and on your thumbs, gravity will do some of the work and uh, the dough will do the rest. But it's moving now, it's getting bigger and bigger until you get it to the size you want. Because we're using a pretty wet dough, we, uh, we can't pull it with a lot of force. It's not like one of those New York pizza doughs that can just stretch and stretch and stretch without tearing. This dough is very fragile. All right, I'm gonna get this peel floured up. You could use metal or wood. You think, think we're good there? I think you are, yeah, let's try that. All right, because we've only got about, probably about five ounces of, of dough, so we don't, we're not gonna get a big 10 inch pizza, and these are, we're experimenting here. All right, so what, what are you gonna put on this one? So we got uh, some house meter coated here, and uh, it's actually just uh, super basic. It's just like a couple cups of buttermilk and a, and a gallon of milk. You just bring it up to, uh, to 170 degrees and the curds, the curds will start to separate. We infuse lavender from our garden into it just for a little bit of flavor. And this is just um, wild arugula from, from Winrose Farm in, in Templeton. These are some heirloom tomatoes. Nice. Actually, um, it's just really, really beautiful this time of the year. We got some zebras, a couple different types actually. You got some, yeah. some uh, Cherokees. Dark, and dark red. Yeah. And basically you're using what's happening right around here. These are heirloom breeds of uh, and of tomatoes that will grow this time of year. Right, exactly. And you're not gonna get them fresh the whole year. Now these aren't gonna turn into sauce. They're just gonna get cooked a little bit and, and wilt into the, into the pizza. And then we have some sliced apples. These are actually uh, from Winrose too. Okay, so we've got a little flavor contrast going. We've got apples and tomatoes. That's an interesting combo. Mm -hmm. And we've got a little bit of green mm -hmm. uh, with that herbal. And then we've got the floral uh, cheese. Now, we, now this is gonna be our smoked fish, okay. but we're not putting it on now. Yeah, we should definitely set that up first and then get this going. Finish it with Because the fish is already cooked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll get the door for you. Okay. He's in. All right, so now we've got that pizza in there. We've got uh, the same thing. We're going to watch. We're going to kind of note and see if it starts to puff up. We figure three and a half to four and a half minutes is about what it's going to take, and we'll just keep our eye on it and turn it. But it's all about figuring out how these. Uh, ovens work and, and every oven does have its own unique personality. All right, we're well, already sorry. getting some color, huh? Um, so this is actually um, albacore that Jim gave us earlier and I'm pretty sure he said it's just a brown sugar glaze. You can see it's kind of shiny. Since we have these tomatoes going on uh, fresh too as well as the cooked ones, do you think we ought to put a little basil with those tomatoes? Would that help? Yeah. We're starting to get some caramelization on the back of the pizza. There it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it and put it back in and we'll, we'll get the back of the pizza cooked. All right, so we've been in the oven maybe three and a half to four minutes with this pizza. We've got beautiful color on it now, beautiful caramelization of the crust. The top needs a little bit of down heat, so we're gonna go up where it's real hot. Okay. A lot of bright colors. Yeah, it's a good looking pizza. So let's get the fish on there. Now this fish will warm up sitting on the hot pizza, it, it, even though it's not gonna get cooked. Tomatoes, all that nice yeah. color underneath, just peeking through now, not dominating, but to bring back the color contrast, some of these sun gold tomatoes and some fresh herbs. So this is the type of pizza that's becoming more popular, I think in this country is uh, finishing, off, finishing off the pizza with cold ingredients, cold ingredients right. and fresh ingredients so that you get this sort of, again, flavor pop. Right. And then we'll do a little bit of the chiffonade basil from the garden. And there it looks like we've got now a beautiful, cool. colorful pizza. Or we should hear a little snap as you cut it. Yeah. Good. This is our attempt to make sort of a, a smoked fish taco pizza. And now we're gonna drizzle some of that, uh, that secret sauce. And this is right from Rudell's Smokehouse. This is his, his secret it sauce. Is, and it it's is a his, curry yeah. aioli. Thing. That's what that's what we're thinking. 
This is the kind of pizza where you get six people, each one can have one slice and almost feel like, you know, wow, that's all I need. I'm thinking you know? it's gonna be strong, yeah. Yeah. I gonna, love all these different kinds of tomatoes it. that are on here. Look at the difference in the dough. This oh, there you go. Now let's get a get look into that. So there we got that that wonderful bubbling effect, and you can see the strands of gluten, and you see how shiny it is, where where it's gelatinized. That's gelatinization of starch is a really good sign when we get that much shine, because you're going to get a creamy, almost cool creamy look to it. Right. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to be honest with you, as much as I love that taco. I think this is even better. That's pretty good. Love it. Yeah. All right, we're getting some ideas here. I think we got a whole new book waiting to work here. Now, 